Hello, this evening it is Saturday of the fourth week of Lent. Our prayers are found in Give Us This Day at page 298. And the hymn is from a text by Sister Dolores Stuffner, When Evening Falls and Labor Cease. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. When evening falls and labor cease, we turn to you in quiet peace, with grateful hearts for blessings past, and hope for future joys that last. As dawn will surely follow night, so will you make our darkness light. New warmth will breathe upon our land, new life will spring from your own hand. Like birds returning to their nest, we find in your strong arms our rest. And as we sleep, you will restore our health and strength and joy once more. Safe sheltered by your mighty wings, we praise you, maker of all things, with Christ our brother and our friend, and Holy Spirit without end. Psalm 110. <clears throat> The Lord's revelation to my Lord. Sit at my right hand until I make your foes your footstool. The Lord will send from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of your foes. With you is princely rule, as on the day of your power, in holy splendor from the womb before the dawn, I have begotten you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at your right hand shatters rulers on the day of God's wrath. The Lord brings a judgment on the nations and heaps high the bodies and shatters heads throughout the wide earth. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The reading tonight comes from the second letter of Timothy. I am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Word of the Lord. <clears throat> because he was a Roman citizen, Paul was offered a, a noble form of execution. He was decapitated by the sword. In this brief excerpt from the second letter to Timothy, it's clear that Paul is not going to receive another reprieve. 
his death is imminent. Yet, rather than lamenting about what might have been left undone, Paul evaluates his own ministry. And as he waits for the finish line, for death, he lives with the strong conviction that he has kept the faith and waits for the vindication of the righteous, of which he is one. You and I are all living in the last days. Lent simply heightens that awareness and gives us a 40-day opportunity to correct some faults, to redirect some attitudes and behaviors, and as Paul coins it, keep the faith. How are you doing with the decision you made on Ash Wednesday to turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel? If you're like me, this has not been a faultless Lent, but not to worry. It is never too late to admit our faults, and as Paul would describe it, to rejoin and finish the race. The Canticle of Mary tonight comes from the Isil text. The Lord, the just judge, searches minds and hearts. I acclaim the greatness of the Lord. I delight in God my Savior, who regarded my humble state. Truly from this day on, all ages will call me blessed. For God, wonderful in power, has used that strength for me. Holy the name of the Lord, whose mercy embraces the faithful, one generation to the next. The, the mighty arm of God scatters the proud in their conceit, pulls tyrants from their thrones, and raises up the humble. The Lord fills the starving and lets the rich go hungry. God rescues lowly Israel, recalling the promise of mercy, the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham's heirs forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the just judge, searches minds and hearts. Giver of every gift, you lavish us with plenty and bid us to care for the less fortunate. In faith we pray, expand our hearts in your love, O God. Help us to bless those who find it difficult to be kind. Expand our hearts in your love, O God. Strengthen us to forgive one another. Expand our hearts in your love, O God. Sensitize us to the needs of women and men recently released from prison. Expand our hearts in your love, O God. And now, in these few moments of silence, bring your own prayers and needs to God. For all these prayers we pray, 
Expand our hearts in your love, O God. And now joining all our prayers in one, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May God bless us with peace and draw us into unity through Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a peaceful night. We'll see you tomorrow.